In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the basic system management of an Alcatel Lucent 7750. So let me introduce you to the topology. We will have two 7750s, R1 and R2. They will be on the 10.1.12.0 slash 24 network with R1 being dot one and R2 being dot two. R1 ha will have a loopback address of 192.168.0.1 slash 24 and R2 will have a loopback address of 192.168.0.2 slash 24. They will also have system addresses. Now, the system address is more like an address for the entire node. So that's the reason why it can only have a slash 32. And R1 will have a system interface address of 1.1.1.1 slash 32. And R2 will have a system interface address of 2.2.2.2 slash 32. I already have two Alcatel plain vanilla routers. When I say plain vanilla, it means they have no configuration on them whatsoever. And they're already open, so let me jump on R1 and R2. Now, when you're first on the Alcatel command line, um, to access to the root context, the password, the login and the password is admin and admin. So admin, admin. Initially, actually, let's just concentrate on one. So let me close this one down and expand this screen. And here we can see that we're in the root context of the system. If we wanted to change the host name, um, we would type the configure command. Now you could type the whole syntax. So you could type configure system name R1, or I could have typed configure to complete it. I either press tab or space to complete the word. So configure, enter, system, enter, and then I would say name R1 the same command and to get back to the root context I would press control and Z now there are actually several ways that we can um, navigate around the command line so if I up arrow and I do this let me say configure system if I wanted to get all the way back to the root context without pressing control Z I could say exit all this would exit everything. If I just wanted to go back one level, I could say back. And if I say system here, and also exit will do the same. Now exit and back are, even though they look similar, they're slightly different commands. If I say control Z here, if I say configure, say something like router OSPF, and I just wanted to go back to configure router, this is where I would use the back command. But if I had entered the whole syntax, configure router OSPF from the root context, and if here I press exit, it's gonna take me all the way back to the root. So back takes you back one level in the hierarchy, where the exit takes you back to where you entered the syntax. If you wanted to always go back all the way so if I had said something like configure enter router enter OSPF enter if I wanted to go all the way back to the root context from here using exit I would have to use exit all so, so they're slightly different if I do again now configure system and I want to see the command that I actually entered in I would use an info command here and we can see that um, I've entered in the name of R1 and these are some other default informations here. You could actually look at all the default information but I find it a bit verbose so I don't usually use this one. But if I said info detail, it will give me all of the default configuration that is configured under the system configuration and it's quite a lot. But if I wanted to find something specific in the default configuration, then I would probably use something like um, a pipe command. A pipe command will, will go along with the... I'll use a pipe command to find exactly what I'm looking for. So we see lots of no descriptions here. 
if I wanted to just find them, I'd say something like info, detail, and then I will pipe match, no description. Probably have to put it into brackets. Match, no description. And here we see how many nodes descriptions here. Now, now the pipe command, it has quite a few nuts and bolts added to it. I don't know how many lines this are, are here. If I wanted to actually count these lines, I could just say count at the end, and it would tell me that there were 25 lines of no description here. So let's actually count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I should never doubt it, it is 25. There are some other options available as well. If we say info detail, we see that there's quite a lot of output here. If we wanted to look at this, but let's for example, we wanted to remove a lot of the common lines. So we see that exit we see that the word exit is written quite a lot. It's here, 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 here. If we wanted to get rid of all of these exit commands, we could run a, let's press Q here to quit. So I could say info detail match. And then I would say something like invert match, which means I'm going to remove this exit. And now it will show me the display without any exit commands in there. I, I can also um, press Q again, info detail. I could also say if at the end of the output, we had something like, let's just take something random, let's say cron. So we've got cron here, but we didn't want to have to keep pressing space or enter to get to cron. So I could say info detail match post lines um, it will be the lines that are re recorded after cron post lines say I want to post the next hundred lines that are written after the cron command and we can see that it starts at cron and continues downwards the these are some really good filters that are available with the pipe command rather than you having to scroll through reams and reams of information, then you could just do a pipe match and um, find out exactly where you're looking for. We can also add this output to our file directory. So say if we wanted to look at the next 10 lines after the cron command, we could use a redirection. So if we use this little arrow here and we say CF3, and we're gonna add this to our compact flash. And we're gonna say this is, we're gonna call it after cron.text. Now, if we look at our file directory, so we type in uh, control Z, if I say file directory, there's now a file here called after cron dot text to actually look at the contents of this file if I say file and then type let me highlight this after cron dot text if I press enter now this has actually sent this output to a file on the compact flash so that we can look at it anytime that we want so these are the next 10 lines that come after cron these are probably just the next 10 lines without the exit. I'm sure we could do this same command. So let's double pipe, see if it will work actually. So if I say info detail, match post lines, 10 lines after the cron command, match, maybe it won't work actually. match invert match exit 
Ah, okay. So if I go back to configure system and then try this command. Whoa. Invert match and then let me redirect that to the file. Then if I control Z, file directory, we can see it's called after cron, up arrow, it's somewhere. And now we can see that the after cron dot text has 10 lines after cron and it doesn't include the exit command. You can do additional matches with the pipe command and you can redirect those to a file on the compact flash.